Hi everyone. My name is Sarah and I'm from the North Syracuse Library. Welcome to our next edition of Cook with Noble. And so today I'm going to show you how to make avocado brownies. Um, this is actually a new recipe to me. This is only about the third time I made it. I was looking for treats that were just a little bit healthier because I'm trying to be good and lose weight, but you still gotta have your treats. So these avocado brownies are about 120 calories each, which, which isn't that bad for a brownie. And so your first step, I'm actually doing that right now, is you're gonna take two cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips, mix them with a tablespoon of coconut oil, and pop that in your microwave for 30 to 60 seconds. The reason you wanna use coconut oil is because it helps keep it smooth. And once that's been in there, you're gonna to wanna to just stir it till there's no more lumps. That's why I keep looking down and it looks like it's pretty good. And as you can see, I have a pot holder because the bowl is still pretty hot. You don't wanna burn yourself. So let's see if I can show that without getting it on my computer. <laughs> So then you're gonna set that aside and give it a chance to cool. And then you're gonna grab a bowl and get together your dry ingredients. So for your dry ingredients, you're gonna be using half a cup of flour. I just wanna show you my cups. It's a cute little kitty cat. And I'm using whole wheat flour. Doesn't really matter what kind of flour you use, whatever kind you want. I like the whole wheat because it's just a little bit better for you. And then you're just gonna want one fourth a cup of cocoa powder. So I like showing off these. I got them, um, got these cups about a couple of years ago when I was on vacation in Mystic, Connecticut. And if that place sounds familiar, it's because there's a movie called Mystic Pizza. And they actually have the restaurant there and I went to it and it was so good. Then the last part of your dry ingredients is gonna be a dash of sea salt. So I just pour a teeny tiny bit in. You don't, you do not want salty brownies. So just be careful when you're pouring. And then just mix that all together. Yeah, that looks good. So the next part you are going to need a blender. So then you're gonna take a half a cup of maple syrup and you're gonna wanna use all natural maple syrup. That's the best kind. And again, like I said, since this is supposed to be a healthy, healthy recipe, you wanna do that. Just move this a little so you can see better. So there's my blender. Always double check that you're putting in the right, <laughs> using the right cup and stuff. You don't want to put too much or too little of something in. And then in addition to that half a cup, you're also going to want a tablespoon of maple syrup. I know that looks like I grabbed my half a tablespoon by accident. Good thing I noticed that, so I'll just pour it twice. And then, probably use this a lot in recipes, vanilla extract. You'll want two teaspoons of that. There's one, two. And another popular ingredient in baking recipes is your eggs. You're gonna need two of them. And I always double check to make sure I didn't get any shells in there. It's good for you to know that too. You do not want to accidentally bite into an eggshell. And then the last part is going to be your avocado. And so I'm just going to do a quick tutorial about how to know if your avocado is ripe or not. So we're going to need one cup of mashed avocado. And so since mine are pretty small, I'm probably gonna need about two. If you have a bigger one, you might just need one, it depends. So if you press up against the avocado and it's 
like just super hard, it's not making an indent at all, that means you're gonna wanna set it aside because it's not yet right. Now, if you press your finger and it goes like all the way in, that means that it is past stripe and you probably should throw it out. So I have it right now where it's perfect, where I can press against it slightly, but it doesn't push all the way in and it's not super hard. So let me get this cut off. Okay, so I got my avocados cut. It actually took me three of those little avocados to get my cat filled. And what I wanna say is, why use avocado? Well, avocados are considered a healthy fat, so it's better for you than butter. And again, as long as you're not eating it in large quantities, it's something that's very good for you. So you're gonna put that in the blender and then you're gonna mix that all together. Okay, so I got that all mixed, looks really good. And next you're gonna add that chocolate that you melted in the beginning. And that's actually my favorite part, and that chocolate in there. And the bowl has cooled down now so I can safely grab it with my hands. And so you're gonna use your spatula so you can get all that chocolate in here. After I get that in there, I'm gonna tell you why it's my favorite part. Maybe you've already guessed it. Okay, did you guess it? The reason it's my favorite part is because someone needs to lick the spatula and I'm the only one here. <laughs> so first, I'm gonna go and blend this. Okay, so I got that all mixed. And as you can see, that the brown of the chocolate really overtook that green of the avocado. So you don't even know that there's any in there. And then our last step is you're gonna take Almost our last step, we still have a couple more to go. You're gonna take that bowl of dry ingredients you've got together earlier, and you're gonna pour this mixture into that bowl. There we go. And again, you're only gonna use a spatula just to make sure you get all that in there. so much chocolate <laughs> and it smells so good and it's just ni a nice treat to have for yourself okay I think I got it pretty much got all of it so I'm just gonna Mix this all together. And that just takes a little bit. And I am really enjoying the smell of that chocolate right now. Ugh, smells pretty heavenly. There is just nothing like brownies, huh? Okay, so that's mixed together pretty good. Okay, so then you're going to want to take a pan and spray it. I'm pretty lucky because I have this super cool brownie pan, so it makes it really easy because I always have trouble cutting things, making them even, and this pan does it for me. But if you don't have a brownie pan, just regular pan, the recipe is going to make 12 brownies, and you're going to want to cook it at 400 degrees for about 12 to 15 minutes. Okay, so I had the brownies in there for about 12 minutes and then I gave them a few minutes to cool. They're actually still a little warm, but they smelled so good I couldn't wait. There was one thing I forgot to mention, which is because I forgot to do it, but <laughs> just you might wanna smooth the top off the brownies. You can see mine look a little funky. It doesn't taste any different if you smooth it or if you don't it just makes it look a little bit nicer so I mean it's up to you if you want to do it so now it's the taste test perfect it takes like I don't even notice the avocado some of you watching might be like well I don't like avocado but you don't even notice because it's mixed with all the chocolate 
Um, my mom actually doesn't like avocado and I had made these for her and I just told her I made them from scratch. And she's like, these are so good. And I was like, ha, there's avocados in them. So I hope you try out this recipe and that you enjoy it as much as I do. Thank you for watching.